number, normal world. I can't even say the name of our own show. Oh, man. My name is Corda Black Garrett. And uh, without further ado, I'm, I'm just going to introduce him right now, the real star of the show, Dave Landau. Well, that's nice to say. Thank you. <laughs> Thank Bye. you, Dave. We miss you, Dave. We miss you. I miss you all. I do, for real. And little Dave on the screen there. And the guys, yeah, the poster behind me. I'm just in a corner of my basement. It's not that self-serving. It just happens to be where this is hanging. It's your front door. <laughs> yeah. Right when you come in the front door to your house, you're like, and this is me. You know? yeah, yes. Okay. This is something I did. There's posters in every room. Every single one looking over you on the, on the ceiling. You can go to sleep looking at me. While I look at you. Uh, and there is uh, Angela. Hi. Thank you, Angela. Yeah. Well, of course. Yeah. Just, uh, Hello. Hey. So you need the button. Yeah, they do need the uh, applause button just to give it a little little oomph. Yeah, you need that. Uh, yeah. And hey, with, uh, with the great swelling of pride, <laughs> the return, <laughs> friend of the show, Akira. The dawn. Is that a swelling of pride in your pocket? Yeah, that's, what I- <laughs> that's exactly what you think Chris. it is. <laughs> I love a good swelling of pride. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yes. I like it swollen. Hey, Dave. Uh, Juicy. <laughs> Yo. Yeah. Is there yeah. possibly a list of shows where people could see you do stand up? Oh, my stars. Thank you for asking. <laughs> yes, March 22nd, this weekend, I'll be at the Eagle Ridge Resort in uh, Galena, Illinois. Then March uh, 23rd, I'll be at the ABC Supply Stadium in Beloit, Illinois. Then come down to TIFFs, March uh, 29th and 30th in Morris Plains, New Jersey. And then Zanies in Nashville, March 31st. And then the rest are all there, DaveLandau.com. Go check wow. it out. Uh, let's get into the news. I want to talk about this. It's very important. Uh, the Pooniverse. <laughs> come on. Winnie the Pooh yeah, is gone. very sexy. Oh, for a different thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's not what you think it is, but maybe it is. Uh, Winnie the Pooh has gone into public domain, went in uh, public domain a couple years ago, mm. and uh, they made the movie Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey, and if you've seen it, you know it's very terrible. Uh, Angela? Yep. You can attest? I can. I did watch it. Um, I don't remember it very well, which says a lot about it. All right. Uh, so they decided to make more of those, and uh, it's kind of like a, like a Avengers. It's got... <laughs> Tinkerbell and Bambi. I, I'm assuming they're going to do like a like a Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse is public domain now. Steamboat Willie. Steamboat Willie. Yeah, the, which is a funny name yes. in itself, right? Oh. Steamboat Willie is hilarious. That uh, could be a good uh, killer. <laughs> I feel like yeah. that could be a cool movie. It really should, would be. They well, should do a movie like Ghost Ship, but it's Steamboat Willie. <laughs> well, I've been expecting this because, and I'm pretty sure there's a connection because I think the guys who do the Winnie the Pooh Blood and Hardy <laughs> movie, weren't they involved in the Five Nights at Freddy's movie? Were they? Which made a fortune and was actually pretty well put together. And there's been this whole sort of subculture in uh, like little kids of uh, independent video games kind mm-hmm. of based on that old rubber hose type thing. You had Cuphead and Bendy mm-hmm. and the Ink Machine. And so you've already got a precedent with, say, Bendy and the Ink Machine, which is kind of a Mickey Mouse kind of esque. They are character. making a movie out of. Of course. Um, fingers crossed and all that type of thing. But um, so, yeah, it's, 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 it's the season. Yeah. It's, it's expected. People look at that mouse and they think horror. Yeah. Right? That squeaking rodent. Just yeah. dripping like black ink. Yeah, exactly. His face while he's just and everything that you know Disney now stands for, <laughs> and uh, it's just perfect. This yeah. just shrill voiced rodent rat running around, uh, causing havoc and doing horrible things to children. Uh, the inverse of what it really should mean. Mm. Like basically, the what character about a from drama? Sing- oh, a drama. Oh, yeah. yeah. It is. You could have like Eeyore interrupted, <laughs> where he's just cutting himself. Because he's very oh. sad, but I don't, th- I don't think he'd hurt others. He's always hurting himself. He's always yeah. trying to get nailed in the ass. What's up with that? Yo! You know? Uh, he's always successful at it. That's a good point. It happens every time. <laughs> then you got There's Tigger. a lot of weird butt stuff with that. You know, Winnie the Pooh yeah, gets stuck is. in the hole. His butt's sticking out. <laughs> so he's trying to get his hand in a honey pot. Yeah. His hand's <laughs> blood and honey. He's stuck on the inside, <laughs> yeah. Pooh's honey pot. He's always just wearing a shirt. Yeah, just like... That's Flapping it? in the wind yeah. at the bottom. What's up with that? That's not right. Really? It should incorporate to cover the, the nipples, story. but hanging out with junk out boy. is fine. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> so good. Disturbing. Yeah. Let's just frankly, the whole thing is cringe. Like, 
the whole like turning beloved cute nice things into creepy things it's yeah. like very uh like 13 year old emo kid yeah you know, behavior you know yeah what I, mean? I, I feel I think, we should be beyond this as a culture no i agree i think you are right though i think there's too much fear in the 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 mouse has given us that we have to pay him back well it's like clowns no one likes clowns now because there have been too many i don't know whether too many clowns do too many fucked up things but like no one likes clowns anymore but there was a period of time hey. when people liked clowns <laughs> <laughs> i love clowns yeah like um, right? uh who is a good clown gacy B- G- Yay! Oh, no. that was super fucked it up but it's like that with mickey mouse it used to have like positive associ- associations and right. bring up nice feelings but now when you see that mouse it just reminds you of so much evil and horror Darkness. yeah uh that that's what it it's is true speaking of did you guys have both and horror, the clown? uh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah they they yeah, modeled the um, he was cool ronald mcdonald after him after him a little bit no one likes ronald mcdonald yeah. either right if that motherfucker turned I, up in a hamburger store these days people run out screaming Back in the day, though, yeah, they got rid you of had them. that bench where you could yeah. sit with him. Yeah. I, that was great. Yeah. I was like, oh, this Yeah, you just right had here. to make sure it was really him. Fool me once. <laughs> I feel like before the um, <laughs> It uh, yeah. uh, miniseries happened, I feel like clowns were more of a beloved, like, actually, like, party thing. And yeah. I, th- I feel like that changed. You think it did? It. I feel like it did. It might have been. Because I, rem- I was, like, eight or something when It came out, yeah. I remember. And that was... That fucked up everything. Yeah. It came out I really of the floor think that like that goes was. into the drain. Yeah. yeah. Everyone watched it at my school who weren't supposed to. And it was all the kids. You know, they shouldn't have watched it. Yeah. Go to the rental like store and get it. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone was, it was kind of like quiet the next day. You know what I mean? <laughs> Dude. It was when, the first horror movie I you, saw. Oh, there you go. Yeah. It was a made for TV miniseries. So everybody yeah. watched thinking it had to be okay, but they danced around everything, which made it somewhat more terrifying. Yeah. Yeah, because then it left your mind to explain everything. Yeah, Tim Curry is so terrifying. He gets he loses roles because he's too scary. He was originally supposed to play. He's in, uh, he's in a the wheelchair. Joker. <laughs> What's your point? He is now. You can't be scary in a wheelchair. <laughs> I don't know. Tim Curry can be pretty scary. Have you seen him? Wheelchair people are scary. That who's that guy who died? That Professor Hawking fellow. That guy terrifying. See, yeah. Yeah. Specifically to kids. Yeah. That's yeah. true. Especially yeah. him. And what about there was that guy last week as well? There was someone else, some like Stephen Hawking yes. type guy who got who got caught being um, a diddler. Yep, and he was real yeah, creepy dude. about it, right? When they came in, he's like, "Hey, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> I don't know who you're talking about. He looks you like don't? a cartoon. Oh man, it's messed up. What was his a job? Cartoon? He had a, he was like head of HR at something. How big. do I search him? Uh, go to How Drama Alert. Search? Drama Alert, uh, like four days ago. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, if you can yeah, find he, it, he, yeah, a, he was very creepy. Um, What's his name? Not Crip Daddy. R.I.P. Crip Daddy. R.I.P. Crip Daddy. Yeah. Um, uh, Ricky Berwick. He he posted a picture because I think they have the same uh, the same uh, disease affliction. Yeah. Uh, and he was like, "We do not claim this man." Uh, <laughs> you find it? Yeah. Yeah, it's freaking weird. And he's like, "I called my my uh, my uh, roommate. I already called my roommate." And he's like, "What are you talking about? I'm gonna go call the police. You don't have to call the police." You don't have to call the police. We're f- it's good. We're fine. We're not fine. Me and fine, motherfucker. Yeah, you got to call the police no matter who. But you do look at that and think for a second. Mm. You're like, is he already punished? <laughs> <laughs> punished enough? Not enough. Clearly yeah. not enough. <laughs> but not enough. <laughs> Didn't work. Didn't get the message. Yeah. You know. That's true. He yeah. did still. <laughs> Yeah. Well, yeah, when God's punishment hasn't served you enough. Yeah. Oh. No, you need the full boils and all that. I was reading. That's Ricky. Oh my God. This is the guy, right? That's Ricky. That's Ricky. <laughs> hey, good old Ricky. I want to get Ricky on the show. All right. Well, Ricky's a G. You do? Oh, yeah. yeah. Ricky Berwick's awesome. Oh, I she thought you were re- saying this is the guy. No, oh, no, no, that's no. Ricky we uh, don't. We don't. <laughs> we don't claim the other guy. That's funny. Ricky you said. pulled up Ricky. Oh, well, yeah. you said that that was his name. <laughs> Right. Anyway. Okay, sorry. I sorry. thought you said that was the guy who was arrested, but no. the guy who was arrested looked like a cartoon, right? Well, so does Ricky. He looks weird. Ricky yeah, he does look weird. Not really. He he looks like a normal. Well, uh, he looks like a guy. <laughs> I. Ricky would laugh at that. Uh, I know he would, but uh, yeah, it, I just say. But the other guy looked. He had like a different. I thought it was a different. Um, yeah, the other ailment. guy was more I Stephen Hawking esque, and he was in a wheelchair, and he was doing that thing, and. Yeah. Um, I could get, this is what this is what fucked Trump up, isn't it? Uh, yes. <laughs> it is. Yo. Except he did it on he did it on tweets. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Isolate that video. <laughs> the funny thing, uh, anyway, yeah, it's the look at his face is he's because he's yeah. kind of a bit like he's like goading. 
Yeah, he's got like a happy. Hey, 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 come on. <laughs> come get me, motherfucker. Like a creepy little leprechaun kind of. Everyone knew that stuff about Stephen Hawking as well, because all of those cartoons like Futurama and South Park and Simpsons, all of them had Stephen Hawking as an evil creature in them. That's true. Like each one of those did a bit about it. Well, like the second episode of Futurama or something, Stephen Hawking is like flying around in a wheelchair, like saying, ha ha ha, from up here you will look like ants. Yeah. Like bombing people. Yes. <laughs> He's a monster and family guy, too, I think. Yeah, yeah. I also. think he is. <laughs> he is, yeah. Man, one of those open secrets. Yeah, it's early. Like Diddy. Let me know if you get that video, by the way. Anytime, just pull it right up. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I'm literally just I thought saying, I knew what to we search. Move, we'll but... move on, and then you can, if you find it, okay. let me know. Hey, I like uh, how you made that sound. <laughs> me? Yeah, anytime now, if you want to do that. <laughs> Uh, hey, any little, minute now. Little uh, <laughs> not the best. Little follow up. You guys remember like the yourself. Willy Wonka incident? In uh, oh, I certainly do. In, you mean in, where in I Scotland. got a gumdrop? Oh yes, <laughs> one little gumdrop and uh, scars yeah. for the rest of your life. Hey, so the <laughs> the creator. Uh, came out and said that this I whole got it. scandal. <laughs> Oops, Go ahead. <laughs> Go. Right at the juicy in. part. There, there he is. Oh, that's him. There's that scumbag. There he is. Yeah. Like, okay, so I'm filming things, so you can't say that I hurt you, ask you for money, any, anything like that, okay? Yeah. You understand that I'm I'm not the person that you invited over here tonight? Do you understand that yet? Yeah. Who? who um. So. That's so how creepy. old was the person yeah, that you did invite over here tonight? Uh, Who's talking to him? Cripple really? Hanson? Yeah. <laughs> Would it surprise you if I have the whole Please take a seat. Oh. Honesty is obviously your best Listen. policy. Uh, you don't want to talk please about stand this? up. No, my <laughs> please. On his way here right now. So do you want to talk about this or no? No, I don't. Okay, so you of course you don't. And call the cops? No, you don't need to call the cops. Dude, my roommate's already on his way. What, what's I, what's what's he, what does that mean? What, I, I already yeah. told him that What'd I... What'd you tell him? Dude... Do you want to talk about this or no, Drew? This is a pretty serious situation, don't you think? It is, yeah. I told my roommate I thought you were trying to get me. Who? I told my roommate I thought you were trying to get me. Okay, Drew, so like I said, man, I want to have a conversation. Can we talk about this or no? Yes. Okay, cool. <laughs> Bro. Oh, oh boy, I don't like that. No, you don't need yeah, that's the last thing you see you before being about hunted about for sport on a private about, island. Dude. Yeah, that's... Oh. Bro. Messed up. Thank you, Angela. I, oh man, this is all around sad. <laughs> Thanks for making like that me find <laughs> that. Life is suffering, <laughs> man. What the heck? Wow. It really is. It, it I'm is glad they caught her at least. I guess. Now more suffering. Yeah, that's the silver lining. Yay! Child sh- suffering. Yeah. No, I mean Willy's Wonka. Willy, actually, hey, Willy Wonka. <laughs> Willy Wonka. That's Willy's, what it says on the thing, though. It says Wanker, Willy Wonka. The events, the scandal that took place in Scotland. I think it it came out and made the the greatest character of all time. The unknown. Do you remember this? He came out and would scare the kids on the way out. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's so good. Well, uh, the creator of this and the old uh, the guy that ran this whole uh-huh. event uh, said it ruined his life. He's gotten death threats, uh, and that he only used AI to write some of the scripts <laughs> for the characters, which is a total uh-huh. lie. If you've seen the event Come page, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, yeah, we saw the event page. It was very much a magical chocolate factory uh, where kids could take a tour yes. and not be disappointed, robbed, and have a hookah loompa. <laughs> that woman, hookah that, looked- that woman with the with the meth thing, the, the, the world's worst meth lab lady. Yes, <laughs> yes. Yeah. yes, that one. That was great. Yeah. That was it, iconic. It, and I guess there was there was two, but apparently when they took the picture, one was on break. <laughs> <laughs> smoking a cigarette out back. Yeah. <laughs> Being an Oompa Loompa sucks. Yeah, he said that uh, <laughs> the mishaps happened because they booked too large of a venue and projection equipment that was never delivered led to the failures. Oh. But I think there was more going on than just that. That doesn't sound like projection someone equipment. taking extreme ownership, does it? No, like, no. check the place out before you rent it. Like, you know, <laughs> come on. My life is ruined. I've lost friends. I've lost the love of my life. <laughs> I was made out to <laughs> Wait, be a face of evil. And genuinely, <laughs> it really, that's really not the case. I'm gutted. I was gutted. I was gutted. Isn't he Scottish? I believe, yeah. I don't know. I can't do it in a Scottish accent. I just got it, but I believe that we could push on. It's good. That's good. <laughs> it's good. Oh, it's got, I, lost, I lost the love of my life. My life. 
She was an Oompa Loompa. <laughs> and they took her away from me because I was not looking after her properly. <laughs> I was feeding her meth. It and was, I gave her that wig that Chrissy Mayer used when she was doing an impression of that lesbian off of that video game show. Frost! Frost! Look at her, Frost! Yeah. I got Frost bitten! She did look like that. Yeah. I gave all the kids a candy. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. That was, uh, That's what a candy land looks like right. here in Glasgow. Yeah. Yes. Welcome to Glasgow where everything's sad, but the saddest thing is this factory. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine, uh, <laughs> like, leaving someone for something better in Glasgow? How bad you'd have to screw up? Bro. Like, he lost his woman. She was like, this is the worst thing you've done. I'm going to go out to the bleak, <laughs> rain wet, covered, <laughs> rain-covered sadness. I'm going to go shoot find some me. smack next door. Yeah. With yes, the Oompa Loompa. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If my husband go did this. heroin by a train. I would love it <laughs> <laughs> if it was like earnest yeah if he was like, he was like <laughs> literally endearing. trying to do it know. you know Failures, out of the goodness endearing. of his heart like, that or if, if like he was doing it on purpose thing? like if it was on purpose like a like a like, like a jim varney display yeah maybe yeah, like yeah. a nathan fielder kind of thing where it's like uh like social experiment kind of yeah. a prank but if it didn't involve children like upsetting children, that's we nice, talked but. about this i think this guy could have totally spun this into like billions he, he already created the character the unknown which is a great character design <laughs> a lot of people were making art about it it was freaking awesome uh and then you could just say it was a social experiment and walk away the uh, do you remember that that Banksy fellow? Yeah, do you remember he yeah. did he did a theme park in a, a mm. shit bit of the UK? I can't remember which one. There's a few. The Glasgow. It was, it was somewhere miserable. Like I don't know. I don't. I don't want to cuss anyone. Birmingham. You can. The UK. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I did. Yeah, just I did leave it. But anyway, he did a version of Disneyland called Dismal Land. Oh yes, really? I remember that. It's it so was cool. Just like a shit theme park type thing. So it's like HR this guy should have just. Well, he didn't do a shit theme park. He did like a sexy, a sexy bar where you could sit on like right. the Harkonnen chair he designed and yeah. like rubber shaft. Yeah. You know, he's a drink. Yeah. 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 God bless Giga. What a guy. There you go. What an absolute unit. They uh, still haven't figured out who that is, right? Who? Was oh, that it? That's awesome. Uh, um, Banksy? No. Banksy. No, they haven't. See, I think that's awesome, though. It is. You, but you're getting exactly what you're going for. Right. You're, you're going to the, you know, the you, theme park. You're knowing what you're going to go. You're not, like, tricking kids into going. No, and you're seeing his art, which I love, but it's just, you know, pointing out the misery and chaos of so many things. See, this is inspiring. This is an inspiring message right here for Willy Wanker. It's not art unless it has the potential to be a disaster. Yeah. That That's why our stuff. show is art. That's right. <laughs> That's what we say every time. We never know. We go into was... the gallery and say, "That's our show, right there." <laughs> yeah, this actually looks That's... less dismal than than some. There was a theme park called I think it was called Blobby World. There was a Saturday night TV show in the UK that had a mascot called Mr. Blobby, who was a big pink like rubber fellow. Uh, and uh, he lived you in Crinkly like Bottom. Like the Michelin Man? Oh, was that yeah, that cool? kind of yeah, thing. That but guy it was, was pink. terrifying. And then they made a theme park around it, which like nobody went to and lost loads of money. And yeah, it was like, I think someone like died or something. Like, it was just horrible. It was like a League of Gentlemen yeah. skit. <laughs> yeah, if you count like Jim will fix it. Uh, yeah, this is clearly not the worst thing. <laughs> there he is. That's terrifying. It's what is that? UK. That's Mr. Blobby. What the? Good That's Lord. Mr. Blobby. Is that Mr. Blobby? Yeah, beloved Saturday Night TV superstar. He had a number one hit single. What? What was the name of the song? I can't remember. Like, uh -huh. Blobby. He went, Blobby, 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 Blobby. <laughs> I'll hug you kids. Yeah. Well, it's just a that was a different cop. BBC children's entertainment guy. They're all the same. Yeah, cool. That's true. It, they were, he's inside of the Mr. Blobby. Yo, I don't want to say Blobby inside, inside of Mr. You? Blobby. Yo, yo, yo! <laughs> sorry. Come on. I'm sorry. Yo, I'm sure Did that's you notice happened. that the, the Dismaland was far better than the factory of you? <laughs> we <Well, laughs> experience. Like there was a whale coming out of a toilet. Yeah. Like I have a nine-year-old. He would have loved that. There was a oh. high production <laughs> value on that. Yeah, that would have been way. <laughs> Again, if you did the Willy Wonka experience right now, everybody knows what it's going to be. Yeah. He'd make money. I think you're right. Make money. And it'd be like a rags to riches. This iconic thing. to hero. 
Go along, get your picture taken with that method lady, with yes. the method in It would be massive. I would, l- oh my gosh. I, yeah. I, reached, I reached out to the actor, the comedian that was cast as Willy Wonka, and he, he never got back He's to me. He's kind of laying low now, yeah. which is a shame. I, was, we were saying earlier, he should have been doing <laughs> the circuits. Funny. He should go on the news. He should be he should on podcasts right now talking about how ridiculous it is. Yeah. Yeah, this Guys, is almost as bad as that lady who, who, didn't, who saw something that wasn't real. Yeah. Right. That guy's not fucking real. He was. She was here actually. She oh, did, she's uh, here a Alex, lot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I still don't. Not, think that's I don't the think same she's woman. ever on shows. She's just here. You know, yeah. just walking around in the shadows. They go to Olive Garden together a lot. Her and her and Prime invisible time. person. Yeah. <laughs> and Jimmy. <laughs> it's weird. I still don't think it's the same just... person. <laughs> yeah. You know what's not weird? Nice sheets. Nice sheets. You knew it. You knew it. <laughs> she knew it. Hey, miracle made sheets. They're uh, they, they sleep cold. If you if you sleep hot, and you got the you got the sweats at night. They got like the silver stuff inside of them, and it makes you uh, you feel nice when you sleep. And it also uh, it wicks away ninety nine percent of bacteria. It's just it's it's literally a miracle. So you guys got to go try Miracle Made Miracle oh, Try Miracle dot com slash normal. You know the sheets. We love the sheets, and you love the sheets. And if you use what what's the code? Normal. Normal. You get uh, you get some hand, uh, like a hand towel. Body towel. A body towel. Face towel. A face towel. Face. Like a whole set. Dave, Dave, you like the sheets, don't you? I love the sheets. I slept on them yesterday. <sighs> you know. Dude, they're so nice. I'm still in my pajamas. It's not depression. It's because I was sleeping on comfortable sheets. You just and I, get I just want to keep the feeling. Yeah, I just could up. not wake up. Just something kept me in that bed. Mm-hmm. And it wasn't the fear of the another day. It was the comfort of the sheets. But you'll know when you get out of those sheets in the morning, you're going to get right back into those at the end of the day. So go oh, try super. miracle.com slash normal or in the middle of the day. And use code normal right. to claim your three, three P's. Three, 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 three. Save over 40% off again. That's try miracle.com slash normal. If you haven't done it already, you're crazy. Expensive. They're not. How much For more sheets? can they give you? Yeah. No, they're not expensive for sheets. No. And they're good ones. There you go. I, I, have, a, I have a friend. Uh, she's Mexican. And she was telling me about when she learned English. That's enough. She was having <laughs> problems with pronunciation. And uh, the difference between sheet and shit mm. kept causing her lots of problems. So she'd be like working <laughs> in a hotel and she's telling someone to clean the sheet, clean the shit or something. Or, or, like clean. She thought she had to go clean up some shit, but it was a sheet it was and sheets. so on. And it just illustrates the subtle differences mm. in words that can make such a such a big yeah, difference in life. Difference. Yeah. English language, English language, language really has to be tough. Yeah, it's gotta well, be tough for a lot of it's people. It's completely different from most languages, yeah, like with the adjectives silliness. and then like the way that you form a sentence. <sighs> we, we do. We we homeschool the kids, and we're you know we're teaching them English and stuff, and it, they're like, "Why is it this <laughs> way?" And I can't. I can't answer it's that. It's a good call. <laughs> well done. I'm like, I cannot do that. <laughs> <laughs> <We're teachers. Don't. laughs> I teach mine Portuguese yeah. and we don't communicate yeah. at all. Does your manager say that he's doing really well? <laughs> yes. Oh well that's yes, cool. he does. So do you do you do the, the lessons? Yeah, we have like a whole uh, curriculum on it and everything. I don't do it, thank God. I was gonna say. That's my wife. She's yeah, a smart one. Same same in our in our situation. I just can't answer those questions. I teach him I how to be a why. man, you know? I teach him <laughs> Things like yeah, that. you know, like go outside and have like stuff. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. uh, when he says to me, should I eat this berry? I say, yes. And my wife goes, no. And I go, no, yes. No, try it. He'll learn. If he dies, <laughs> then that's, he'll have learned. And we can make another one. We'll make exactly. Another one. Yeah. <laughs> that's why we have various berries in my yard. Some really? poisonous, some not. <laughs> so far, only, only about seven dogs have learned their lesson. <laughs> <laughs> but those are post signs for your kid. And they go, okay, there's a dead dog right there. Yeah. There's not one over there. Yeah. I'm going to try the blue ones. That's right. Smart. Yeah. We can't do with less dogs. Strays. It's just so noisy. No, there are a lot. There are a lot. I love you say we could do with less dogs? They're so no- I just, love you are dogs. A, what? I, again, no, I where I live, I've got I street, oh, okay. so many street dogs and they just bark and they bark and they bark and they bark. And who was that guy, that famous American? Um, Bob Barker. He was and like the dogs drove him mad, and then he killed loads of people. Bob Barker. Oh, I'm sorry, what? Are you talking about Dennis Rader? No, wasn't it? No, but he was a dog catcher. Who's the serial killer? Oh no, 
What? You're talking about uh Oh us. Oh, Is man. it Son of Sam uh, Summer of Sam? Son of Sam. Son of Sam. Son of Sam. Son of Sam. Yeah. That was it. David yeah. Berkowitz. Dogs are talking to me. David yeah. Berkowitz. Yeah. Oh, yeah, David Berkowitz. The neighbor's dog. His neighbor's dog was yeah. telling him to yep. kill people. See, which happens. Yeah. It's all the dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Entirely too many dogs. Yeah, but, well that was that was a Doberman pitcher, and they they're known for that. <laughs> What do y'all's neighbor's dogs tell you? <laughs> that I can swim I'm, in their pool. I need to move <laughs> when they're away. Nice. I hear there's like a lot of hate for pit bulls out there. You know, I just come across this on the I've internet. I've never heard this. They're so cute. I don't believe that's true. How could you hate on such a beautiful creature? Yeah, I don't know. Probably the statistics. I've never seen it. <laughs> it's more of the and I have a pit bull. I, I have a pit bull, so. Really? Yeah. Wow. Is he cool? He's cool. Dave's met him. Oh, okay. Does he ever eat Alex has one. He brought him in. He's scary. Yeah, well, he's 13, though, too, so he's just kind of... Oh, he's chill. He's, he's chill. chilling out. He's chill. He's look like, I'm punching my ticket. I'm out of here. Yeah, soon. he's... Oh, yeah. How long I did, breed did pit them bulls... for fighting. What? <laughs> <laughs> Should I not have said that? I, I don't think. Who are, they, are you fighting them? Who are they fighting? Uh, uh, they're fighting each other and okay. some people. And by that, okay. I mean, th sometimes they get out. <laughs> <laughs> well, the people don't usually know they're in a fight. Hey, uh, you guys remember Dr. Street, Steve, the, the glorious Dr. Steve. He's been on the show. He's awesome. Uh, we've asked you guys to ask questions to Dr. Steve, and this is a question for Dr. Steve. I am concerned about my nostril. One nostril looks like an O, and the other one is just a slit. Did I get this from picking my nose? Here is Dr. Steve explaining. Hey, it's your old pal, Dr. Steve, and Alexis asks, I am gravely concerned about my right nostril. When I look up my nose, the right one looks like a slit, and the left one looks like an O, and it's harder to breathe through. I picked my nose as a child, so I may have sustained some internal trauma due to that. Well, Alexis, the good news is that picking your nose as a kid usually results in nothing more than being affectionately called things like booger head, snot nose, or Sarah Jessica Parker. Kids are so mean, aren't they? Occasionally, microtrauma from the nose picking can introduce bacteria into the nostril, causing a skin condition called impetigo. But unless you jammed a stick through your nose, it's unlikely that the cause of your current problem is nose picking. This could be one of several things. The first is coanal atresia, which sounds like something you'd get after vigorous ass play, but in fact, it simply means you have a closed door situation in your nose. Imagine a fancy restaurant full of mucus, I guess, with meat and bone blocking one of its two doors, not conducive to breathing or to good analogies. The thing is, if you had this, you wouldn't be asking me about it as an adult because you would have had it your whole life. People are born with this. It's possible you never noticed it until now, but that would mean that you're probably the least perceptive person who ever lived. Now, the other thing is simply a severely deviated septum. A normal septum is a wall of cartilage that separates the right nostril from the left. Now imagine this wall bending to one side, and you have one functional nostril and one that is closed forever. Usually these are caused by trauma to the nose, causing the cartilage to buckle. Honestly, I could go on and on, but what you need is not some stupid TV doctor, but a real otolaryngologist, an ENT, to look in your nose and sniff out what the hell is going on in there. Most of these things are fixable. You don't have to live this way. Dave? Dave? It's, it's true. I, are you, you Alexa? Do a lot of co <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. If you do cocaine, you can have a deviated septum. That's a fact. Yeah. Look up a picture of Daniela Westbrook. It's the perfect example. Yeah. She was a British soap star who was very pretty in her youth. And then she like she banged a load of horse, you know? And, uh, and mm -hmm. then, then her septum <laughs> deviated in a in a way like hitherto unwitnessed by human beings, yeah. you know? She, I have not she ended seen up looking this picture. Like Skeletor. What's her name? Daniela, Daniela Westbrook. Westbrook. She was a, she was a beautiful soap star who went crazy on the gack and just drilled a fucking Oh my god. Should have shown her when she was young first, because like, oh, the, like the shock. Yeah. The contrast, but that still shocked the li absolute living hell out of me. It looks like a, it's like whiskey face mixed with. Yeah, well, that was when she tried to fix it because she has a big hole. At one point, it all just collapsed, so she just had a big hole in the middle of her face. 
You know? Yeah, there used to be a club booker that was like that. He owned a comedy club because he just did a bunch of coke in the oh, 80s. Oh, that's sad. That's so sad. Yeah. That was yeah. A, what happened to Stevie Nicks, too. Oh, really? She stopped doing cocaine because her deviated septum got so bad that uh, her doctor said that if she had any more cocaine at all, like it, it would just be going straight to her brain or She's something. She's like, that's how I make music. <laughs> <laughs> that's what the edge of she, 17 yeah. is all about. Is she gained... Just, weight in the 80s because she had given because up cocaine and that's what, yeah and then she kind of disappeared for a little while and they did seven wonders and you can cut them out on it anyway but she wow. doesn't look like she had too much work done now i don't think so no she doesn't look bad no, I mean, yeah she doesn't yeah, look like danny out of westbrook no no i'm just gonna say after what we just saw i think she looks fantastic yeah. she still sounds great too I think it's British plastic surgeons yes. are just not very good. <laughs> is that what it is? <laughs> that might be it. Like, if she'd been in LA, she'd probably been fine. They're used to that shit. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, you know, plastic like, and stuff. I, I, I don't know. You're like, oh, That's it's good. fine. <laughs> it's fine. Get back out there. It's man. enough. Is, cool. no, is there a enough. nose here that we could just stick on it? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You're good. Oh, Yo, Groucho. There you go. Uh, you did you, like have you followed any of the, the Dan Snyder stuff? Because we talked about it yesterday. I, I'm in a way that there's like this chubby fellow who used to like enjoy taking advantage of little little teenage Nickelodeon stars by having hot tubs with them. Yes. A very lot, a lot of weird nature. stuff like feet things. We went into it yesterday. It's really uh, gross. I was also thinking too, possibly was trying to get Amanda Bynes... Um, separated from her parents legally so then she would be a legal adult yeah which mm. then he could marry it's very oh. weird it's a theory but it does make a lot of sense there's a now this is complete conjecture and allegedly is all over the place but uh you remember uh, the spears what's her name she she jamie did a show lynn jamie lynn spears she got pregnant and stopped doing the show and a lot of that uh, sure. the theories so she did one of the one. was that it? okay yeah uh, i watched every episode <laughs> Uh, but she she quit that show because she got pregnant, and the theories was that he impregnated her. Wow! And like, that was I don't know. Yeah, if the it's theory true, was started because there's a theory or a rumor. What's the difference between theory and well, a rumor? I mean, there's not, the same. not a lot of difference. But uh, there was like it's a paparazzi a video of Britney Spears finding out or something, mm. and she's just like she's like putting it together in her head, and she looks uh, yeah very disgusted. And I think that that's why where, that kind of came where it came from, and it's just speculation, complete complete any, conjecture. Yeah. I don't no. But anyways, I wanted to, to follow up on it. Uh, Dan Schneider has issued a, an actual statement on this. And there's a Apology? video. Uh, yes. Yes. Really? <laughs> well, for being an asshole, <laughs> but that's all. Yeah. Uh. Technically, that's all he's accused of. Uh. Technically. Proven to have done, for sure, yeah. I don't know if people know this, but Drake's mom, a lovely woman, <laughs> who I stay in contact with this day, <laughs> this she is came to me at the time, and she said... <laughs> Dan, I'm not good with words like you are. And wow, would you help me with my speech no. for the judge? And I said, of course. He goes and right did. back to normal. And he ended up going to prison and serving his time. Wow, it's weird. And it's just narcissism. Yeah, that was probably the darkest part of my career. Um, and additionally, the main thing that I would change is how I treat people and everyone. And this goatee. I, I definitely at times didn't give people the best of me. I, I didn't show enough patience. I could be cocky and definitely over ambitious. <laughs> and sometimes oh. just straight up rude and obnoxious. <laughs> and I am so sorry that I ever was. And um, all right. when I watched the show, I could see the hurt in some people's eyes and it made me feel- I loved it. Wow. And regretful. <laughs> and sorry and hard um i wish i could go back you know especially to those earlier years of my career and bring the growth and the experience that i have now and just do a better job and never ever feel like it was okay to be an asshole to anyone ever um what about creating uh, an environment of abusers around you what about that you're gonna apologize well, for that part no okay and the fact that there were two pedos working on his shows, like he really knew nothing. Right. He knew nothing about Brian Peck, really. Yeah. And Works he had all these closely. different complaints. Yeah. Yeah. I think overly ambitious is my favorite new <laughs> euphemism. I was yeah. overly ambitious. It was just terrible. Like, 
I'm I was so too sorry. much of a genius yes. yeah, 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 yeah. for my time. <laughs> yeah. It was... If I was to do it again, if I was given another job, per se, I would do it differently. And if I had a second chance, I <laughs> I would not name a character Penelope Taint right out of the gate. And I would not to make... see I would not make one of the female staff bend over and pretend to be sodomized while she recited a story to me. What was that the would story? be something I would not do. What was this? Yeah, uh, this what is, is real, yeah. yeah. What was the story that she was telling? It was like, had nothing to do with that, and while they were, where she was telling the story, mm. he just goes, well, one what if you did this? Uh, and then... She was, while you, while you do it, she bend had to over do and it. pretend. Yeah, and she did it. Yeah. And it was one of the women who was splitting a salary with another woman, which yeah. is highly illegal. Yeah. It's a, it's a wild well, Two wild women story. equals one man, right? Uh, to at, Dan at, Snyder, at, yeah. At, <laughs> at the time, it was debatable, so somehow he did get away with it, but but turns out, uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Legally. The key line there was that, the, that thing you said about seeing the pain in their eyes. Yeah. That was creepy. When I watched the scenes of Ariana Grande it. sucking her own toes. Wait, what? On loop. What's this toes shit that's going on? He has a foot pool. He has a foot fed. A a foot shaped pool. There's a lot of clips Uh, from his shows of teen actresses sucking on their own feet, putting uh, their feet in the... It's very Quentin Tarantino, but darker because it's children. children. But his his literal pool in his backyard is shaped like a foot. Yeah. All right. So is this connected (laughs) to those schools that were having these weird competitions that came out a couple of weeks ago? (laughs) No, but is he no, running? No, but it's that? oddly sim. It's oddly similar. Is this because I'd never? I was like, what? I've never heard of such a thing. But maybe this is a thing. Maybe that like. What are these schools? I'm unfamiliar with that. I, there was a couple of schools, and there was video footage came out of like all these kids like sucking uh, older kids and teachers' toes. Yeah, as part of like this organized like event, and it turned <laughs> it out it was fundraiser. like some annual thing that they'd been doing for years. And then another school came out that was also doing it, and like it's really terrifying. And, yeah. and evil and disturbing and then they're like oh we're not doing it anymore <laughs> like <laughs> now that you know about it our bad yeah but our now bad. i'm like so so he was on that whole wave so it's, it, this is a wave this is something that's happening feet thing yeah it's weird all right we need more what we need to be doing is building more rockets to yeet more weirdos into the moon you know what Jeff i mean bezos should get him into that blue yes. dick and send it into the sun we need more rockets to yeet weirdos into the sun and the moon we need giant wood chippers, just yep. like massive ones. And we need to organize this. Like, this is what malls should be used for now, right? We do, what are we going to do with malls? Put them in a Sears. Right. Yeah. yeah. We can fill malls. We can, like, launch people I think they're for target the practice. Sun. Yeah. Hey, that was a good one. Did you see what he did there? <laughs> Yo, <laughs> anyone anyway, think he was a professional. <laughs> just thought of that. Just like, yeah. amazing. The quickest we should law- man. We should, we should make the malls... Uh, completely blocked off and then you drop in the weirdos and it's like the dangerous game mm-hmm. and you run around this would like fix society with real guns, yeah. we're such a fractured society it would bring us all together yeah right people like, like to have a that. shared sort of you know like situation. a hunger game scenario yeah exactly yeah. but yeah. just except just, nobody wins they all just get hunger gamed yeah in this one we win we are the winners that's right Children well, who are decides uh what a what a who plays well if you if you uh, get like Filmed Drake, Drake like, Bell. So if you, yeah, if you have like CP or anything on your, oh yeah, yeah, something like that, yeah, yeah. hard and fast rule. Yeah. It's not yeah, just like yeah. weird the wheelchair guy. Yeah, would it's not just be weird. there. Yeah. yeah, he'd be there. He'd be. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. when I oh, say yeah, weirdos, we'll right I don't mean like weirdos like you and me. I mean like weirdos what? like people. Who, Excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> no, you know. Try to no. say you're not weird. I know. Yeah, like cool weirdos. No, I yeah. mean like people like, like who have foot shaped uh, tubs and lick children's ears or whatever they do <laughs> yeah yeah those people yeah you know it's pretty pretty it's easy to differentiate yeah i think it solves world's problems right here yeah we just did it into the sun i think you can make a banger song about that yeah into the sun kill yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Hey, Beyonce's making country music now. You know hey, that was a oh, good link. Oh, sweet. Just, just finesse. <laughs> right in there. Just finesse that. Uh, oh, jammed yeah. in. Yeah. Smoothly. Uh, I didn't hear this music. You said you heard it. I had like one song on some on some on someone's reel, and, and uh, I didn't enjoy it. She's making a real white transition, you know? Like she's getting lighter and lighter skinned, and her yes. hair is all platinum blonde, and she has a cowboy hat on now. Yeah. Riding horses with 
It's very. Is light. it full what are you doing? like? Uh, is it full guitar sort of like country or is it? It's like, like sort of pop poppy. country. Pop country. Okay. Contemporary yeah. pop country. It's not Johnny Cash. You know what I mean? She's not gonna like. Right. And it's not like gritty or raw or anything. It's very shiny. Yeah, it would be weird if she was singing about the blues. She is singing. Like what, ca- she is singing country stuff. It's all like yeehaw, like my truck and mm-hmm. yeah, it's my like, dog with my beer. Yeah, it's like ChatGPT, like written some country lyrics type thing. She is from Texas, so I think she has a little bit of a toe in the country world. I guess. Yeah, I guess you're allowed if you're from Texas. I guess. No. That's she's true. pretty LA yeah. though. She's like, she's like the reverse. When <laughs> when LA people are like, we got to get out of here and go to somewhere sane, and they go to Texas, and then they like assimilate. And they're they're cool like Gary from Nerdrotic. Mm-hmm. You've been assimilated, but she's like opposite assimilated. She's gone to L.A. and turned into an L.A. person. Now she's trying to come back. Yeah, that's very no, no, no. new. Well, yeah. the thing is, country music became bigger than rap music last year. So then all the R and B and rap types towards the end of last year all decided they were going to start making country albums. Post Malone's got one coming. Um, really? Yeah, like lots of them do. Um, well, there's rap- such a connection. Yeah. Yeah. Go on. No, no, go ahead. Sorry. No, I was going to say, well, rap kind of, uh, it, it, it became as big as it possibly could. It took over the whole world. Right. And once something becomes that big, then you're always going to have a, a swing back in, in the other direction, culturally, you know. And that's been happening for a little while. Um, and, of course, the big pop star types are always going to want to do whatever the, the, the big thing is. So they're all making country records this year. and you can All of them will do it. You'll see it. All of them. So strange. I wish it would go back to like rock and roll, you know, like the eighties. Should do like hair metal bands next. It will. That's going to happen. Go to that. That's going to happen. Well, I think it's sort of a full circle sort of a thing. I mean, I guess it's not going back to straight blues, but if you look at Sun Records or even the beginning of, like you said, Johnny Cash, Elvis, all that before it became rock and roll. You have that element right there with the country because it really was. I mean, even Jerry Lee Lewis, you know, Mm -hmm. God rest it. I think he's still alive. Um, I don't know. Maybe he's he's, he's still with his cousin. She's 12. But you have all these, you have all those ties back to those days. I would assume he's dead. Um, (laughs) But to those original days of country that really turned into rock and roll, which then gave him the freedom to become rap, which then, I don't know, it's kind of interesting. So there's always like a, there's always something that is attached to every other kind of music, it seems like. So I, I get how it would turn back into that. There's always been been hints towards well, it. Yeah. American music is based is is these it's the uh European uh folk music combined uh with the the blues from the yeah. Af- African, et cetera. Mm. So it's these two things and it's always been this juxtaposition and this sort of tug of war between these two things um but you're seeing the same thing happen in mexico currently reggaeton and all that was the biggest music until just recently suddenly traditional mexican music is now massive and being performed by kids who look like they should be doing reggaeton really yeah you can go check out what the biggest the biggest uh like drake's already started appropriating it that's how you know it's fucking big (laughs) right so drake's walking out to this music now but like you'll hear stuff coming out of the radio and you'll think it's like an old 70s, like 60s, whatever. Yeah. It's not. It was came out last week and the kid who made it is wearing a big North Face puffer jacket and has got a load of chicks twerking it's in the like video. A synergy of it's, these different cultures is so weird. Yeah, it's happening everywhere. But I've been predicting this for a while because we had to have a certain kind of music dominate for the past 10 years because the 808 trap drum kit that has been in basically every record since 2009 is the only thing that sounds really good coming out of phones. Or it was the, until like the last genera- the last year of phones, they've started making the speakers better, right? So you wow. can hear the drum kits now coming out of phones. So for- There's no reason to even do anything better than that because why, what's the point? Well, so it was like for things to sound good coming out of cars, phones, yeah. all the places, it was a certain kind of sound. So it was that 808, 808 drum kit sound that was in trap that people were using but now that phone speakers have got better you can play old rock records on your phone now and you can hear the rhythm section again you can hear the bass yeah so that's now changed as out of the necessity is now longer there and there can be a return to groove and some kind of instrument and different kinds of different textures kind. and yeah you're actually able to hear them so there's a lot of reasons for it but it's it's occurring 
in real time. And, uh, you know, Beyonce is just trying to get, get ahead of the curve. It's a bit like Dan Blazarian came out yesterday talking about how, you know, the, the, the Instagram guy who got famous oh, yeah, for yeah. 900 women at a time yesterday comes out saying, oh, you should actually, you know, it's not actually very fulfilling. You should probably just get married to one person. Okay, but People are getting ahead of the trad wave. They're, f- they're feeling the pendulum it. pendulum is going oh, back. Come back. Yeah. Interesting. People are getting ahead of the curve. So, you know, if you're smart Andrew Tate right next. now. Andrew Tate, it's going to be trad. It's going to be like, get, get, get a family, get a wife. He could, he already is, isn't he? That's, mm. He's already doing that. Mm. It, I think it's all a bit. It's all yeah. a bit. Dave, what do you think? Is he really? No, I think it's interesting about music. I think he's spot on. I mean, he knows more about it than me. And it is uh, when you drive around Texas and you start catching a lot of the Spanish speaking stations, they are playing very traditional music that I thought was old. So it does make sense that it's kind of popping that up. I heard a song on the radio and it was on the regular pop station. Um, and it sounded like an old doo wop song, mm-hmm. like from the 50s. Mm hmm. I was like, this is actually really, it had a really good melody, piano section was great. And I was like, this is an old song. Why are they playing this on? And I, I looked it up uh, and it wasn't. It was like this 17 year old new pop star that's mm-hmm. playing doo wop music. And I was like, what the? And it wasn't like a spin on doo wop or some so remix. Steven that, Sanchez? Maybe. I, I don't like know that. what his name was. But a it was a great it. song. A wave. It yeah. was a great song. It was just like a traditional like love story doo wop song. And. It's, it's coming it back. Was, yeah. I'm glad it's stuff like that's coming back because I'm so tired of rap and trap and that all of that is so tiring to me. Um, well, it, it, I, I'm more of a had a very anyway, long run. So. It had, well, it's like Amy Winehouse. She had the throwback sound kind of, which I, mm-hmm. I liked at the time. I mean, if that comes back, I, I don't know. There's just sort of, there's something very enjoyable to somebody that can sing that way. That can sing. Yeah. It's, yeah, isn't it amazing yeah, yeah. when people very, are good at good what point, they do, yeah. right? Yeah. When people are talented, right. it's uh, an incredible thing. Yeah. And that. Hey, Akira, thanks for being on the show again. And I hope soon we can get you to play some music. Yeah, uh, we could probably do that. Yeah. Uh, I've got some new stuff that uh, I got my favorite ghostwriter, Marcus Aurelius, oh. uh, involved in. Hell yeah. Uh, oh, actually, I forgot I had that. Let's see. I, can su- I, I, can I saw you talking about this yesterday this on Chrissy's show. Yeah. Where do you get those? I made it. I you made it made yourself? It. Yeah. Are you going to make it for like fans so they could go? We actually have it. We have an Indiegogo campaign running right oh, now. Yeah. You go to meaningwave.com. You can get one of these. Uh, it's hand painted. Ooh. It's beautiful. It's a work of art. And uh, of course, as you see, and uh, my dream is like to have like, look like, thousands of people wearing these um like anonymous uh like the kind guy of, fox kind of thing like just, yeah, we just do a show and everyone turns up in yeah. one of these and then we go overthrow the government or something yeah <laughs> something like that to do that yeah. uh, chilling. where else can people find you uh meaningwave.com akira the dawn wherever you are um yeah thanks my dude and dave where can people <laughs> see your stuff Oh, just go to DaveLanda.com and watch Normal World, but we won't be yeah. in tomorrow. Isn't that true? That's right. We're not going to do a show tomorrow. Uh, Dave's out. We're getting some stuff out. rebooted. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, we got a, a few really great sketches coming down the pike. So look forward mm-hmm. to that. Uh, end of the world? Yes. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> oh. Man, uh, <laughs> that was good. Rappers should never do country, but if one was to do country, what should the name of their album be? I'm gonna start first. Dr. Dre, straight out of Sweet Tea. Oh. I love I like Sweet it. Tea, man. <laughs> Wu Tang, Roll Tide Forever. <laughs> so it's a Bama guy. It's a Bama. <laughs> I hate that. Roll uh, <laughs> Kira, what do you think? Uh, Ice Cube. Birth certificate. <laughs> hey, Dave. He's very pro-life, that ice cube and that. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go Snoop Dogg missionary style. <laughs> traditional. Doggy. Yeah. It's a traditional guy. Like it's, tr- it. it's traditional. Yeah. He doesn't do the doggy. He stopped very... the smoke. Why did they call it missionary style, though? Uh, That's how missionaries it, do you're, it? You're, they... you're submitting. Is it like the easiest so you're not, position though. or something? 
But missionary. Yeah, missionary. Why the word like, missionary? Because you're going out there to preach the good word of just doing it simply. Yeah. You know? Yes. <laughs> That's what's friend. It's your, <laughs> multiple it's your simple mission. ways to do it. <laughs> oh, maybe it's because it's the mission of the actual just creation of life. Maybe. Simple. Mm-hmm. Just, you know, looking like at each other deeply into your eyes, just right in there. Uh, see you next year. Maybe it's because that's what missionaries were really up to. Maybe. That was just it. That was just the one that they chose. Like everything else is Don't uh, let them in your house. blasphemous or something. <laughs> Don't let them in. Don't let them in your oh, house. They're like trying vampires. to make you have sex looking at each other. <laughs> <laughs> They're exactly like pi- like vampires, but they don't suck your blood. They just have sex with you, like looking, looking straight into your eyes. It's weird. It's blowing you. <laughs> See you All next right, Tuesday. I'll read, my your, God. read your book. 